Quick medical tip, pain medications. I found that a lot of patients get several different types of medications, both prescription and over-the-counter, and brand name and generic, and they don't know which ones they can take together for added benefit, and which ones maybe they shouldn't take together, or part of their body, like their kidneys or their liver aren't working well, which ones they maybe shouldn't take. So I wanted to go ahead and go over that here. I am going to move through this fairly quickly, keeping in line with my quick medical tip videos, but all the information is going to be on the screen. Stop, rewind, watch the video several times if you need to. Disclaimer, this video assumes that you are healthy with healthy functioning kidneys and a healthy liver and you're able to take these medications. If you're not sure though, check with your doc before you start them. There's three main classes of these drugs and the medical people will forgive me for interchanging brand and generic names, but I'm gonna try and use the names people are most familiar with. Those three classes being NSAIDs, Tylenol, and Aspirin. And within each class, there are several options. Drugs all come in a generic name, which is the name of the drug itself, and then a brand name, which is the name that companies who make that drug marketed as. So NSAIDs, the common ones are ibuprofen and naproxen, the brand names for those being Motrin or Advil, Aleve or Naproxen. Tylenol is generally known as Tylenol with the generic name being acetaminophen and aspirin, commonly known as aspirin, the generic name being acetosilic acid, sometimes abbreviated ASA. Drugs are processed by your body either through the kidneys or the liver and understanding which way they go will better help you understand when you should and shouldn't take them. NSAIDs and aspirin are both processed through the kidneys, whereas Tylenol goes through the liver. So if you have bad kidneys, you may need to reconsider the NSAIDs and the aspirin. If you have a bad liver, you need to be careful with Tylenol. The different drug classes have different uses and effects. NSAIDs will treat fever, pain, inflammation, and do a little bit of blood thinning. Aspirin treats fever, pain, inflammation, and does a lot of blood thinning. And Tylenol just treats fever and pain. On the blood thinning, the drugs bind to the platelets, which is what helps your blood clot. However, the NSAIDs only bind for the length of the drug, which is 8 to 10 hours, whereas aspirin binds irreversibly for the life of the platelet, which is 7 to 10 days, and that's why they have you stop your aspirin about a week before surgery. Maximum doses. The over-the-counter doses are always smaller than the prescription doses for safety, and these maximum doses, again, assume that you are not of extremes of age and have healthy functioning organs without other confounding conditions. Ibuprofen, you can do up to 800 milligrams every eight hours. Naproxen, up to 500 every 12. Aspirin, you can do up to 650 milligrams every four hours, not more than four grams per day. And Tylenol, you can do a gram every six hours, again, not more than four grams per day. That said, less is always more. The lower amount of drug and dose that you can control your symptoms with, the better, less side effects, less drugs in your body. Finally, the big question, which of these can you take together? And I think the easy way to look at this is to say you can take one from the left column and one from the right column, or any of the three on the left with Tylenol, but not any of the three on the left with themselves, because those three all get processed by the kidney and function on similar enzymes, whereas Tylenol gets processed by the liver and functions a little bit differently. So stop, write that down, and absorb that if you need to. But you need to be careful. If you're just taking a straight Tylenol or Motrin, it's no problem, you know what you're getting. But if you're taking a combination drug for cold or flu, you really need to look at the label to see what's in it. The top two both pretty obvious. It says Advil and Tylenol right on it. The bottom three, however, if you don't look at the label a little bit closer, you might not realize that the Theraflu and the Comtrex both have Tylenol in them and that the Equate actually has both Tylenol and aspirin in it. So you need to be careful about taking extra of one of those with that. The other possibility is that you can get a prescription medication like Vicodin or Percocet and both of these have Tylenol in it. You can see the Vicodin has 500 milligrams, the Percocet has 325 milligrams of Tylenol, so you need to be careful about taking extra Tylenol along with those. However, if neither of these has an anti-inflammatory, and we very commonly will prescribe something like a Motrin or a Naproxen along with one of the two of these to get the anti-inflammatory and pain effects of the NSAID and the extra pain relief of the Vicodin or the Percocet, so that is certainly a possibility. So there you go, quick primer on pain medications. The big thing is knowing what you're taking, knowing what's in the medications, read the labels, know what you're putting in your body. Less is always more. The least amount of drug that you can control your symptoms with, the better. However, if you need the combined and additive effects of say a Vicodin and an Emotrin, that's great, take them. Know that you can use them to their maximum advantage, assuming you're healthy enough to do it. However, if you can get by with just one over-the-counter Tylenol, all the better. Less drugs in your body, less side effects, less cost, Less is more. If you have any questions, post some comments. Otherwise, I will catch you next time.